Hey, catch up on Dave Hilke. Ask question! Dave, where you get idea from? Um, I, I got the idea for, for Oak and Gluck from a true story that my editor, Bonnie Burberg, told me about. Um, one day about seven or eight years ago, Bonnie was volunteering at her son's kindergarten class. And on this particular day, it was show and tell day. And Bonnie's son, Robbie, had brought in a very interesting item for show and tell. He brought in an actual, real dinosaur tooth. And it was really, really cool. And, and Robbie knew everything about this tooth. He knew what kind of dinosaur it came from, and he knew how old the dinosaur was, and he knew what the dinosaur ate for breakfast. I mean, Robbie knew everything about this tooth. And it was the best show and tell presentation that anyone, including the teacher, had ever seen before. Oh, and this is good for Robbie, uh, not so good for the next kid who was in line for show and tell that day. Uh, this kid didn't have anything cool to show for show and tell, certainly no dinosaur tooth. The only thing he had for show and tell was a little toy car. It's actually an ambulance. And I, I actually kind of felt sorry for the kid because, you know, how do you go up in front of your whole class after they've just seen a giant dinosaur tooth and then show them your little toy car? Well, this kid did something that I thought was pretty cool. <laughs> he walked up to the front of the class, and he showed the little toy ambulance that he had, and he just started making up stuff about it. <laughs> he, he told everybody that the toy ambulance that he held in his hand was very, very special. He said it was actually a prehistoric ambulance, and it was a, a fossil that was millions of years old, and that um, actual real cavemen used to use it when they drove sick dinosaurs to the hospital. <laughs> So, so I actually thought this little boy's story was pretty hilarious. So the night I heard about it, I went home and I drew this picture of these two cavemen ambulance drivers. And that's usually how I start most of my books. I start with some characters that I really like, and then I think about them and daydream about them for a long, long time. And in the case of Ook and Gluck, it was like two or three years I was thinking about these guys. And the more that I thought about them, the more they began to take on a life of their own. As time went along, the stories progressed in my head, and soon they were not so much about ambulance driving. They were more and more about kung fu fighting and time travel. So one day I decided to change it from prehistoric paramedics to kung fu cavemen, and I really liked the way kung fu cavemen sounded. Me like too!